people, what's up? It's me again, Junkmaster3, and it is time for the top 5 movies of the month uh, for the month of March. And uh, not March, I mean more the month March, sorry, I just completely forgot how to say it. Uh, it is time for the top 5 of the month, um, and uh, yeah, what the hell am I talking about? Let's begin right away. On the five spot we have an action movie which I've never seen before uh, and I was really surprised and I thought this was entertaining as hell. I love the soundtracks, uh, I love the actors and the storyline and everything. The running time though isn't really that long, it just runs for 76 minutes and I'm not really sure if it is cut or not but anyway now I'm going to show what the movie it is and the movie is Showdown in Little Tokyo. I watched this with my friend. Uh, it was in the previous uh, video or the sci-fi convention video, uh, my good buddy Nicholas. Uh, this is like uh, an action lover's wet dream. You get gunfights and uh, I think there was even sword fights and stuff. And yeah, yeah all, everything combined and explosions and great kills and stuff. So yeah, shout down a little Tokyo. Check it out if you haven't seen it. And at number 4 is another action flick, uh, and this one is from the 80s, or the late 80s, with two really great actors. I think one of them is criminally underrated as an actor, and it is Sylvester Sloan uh, and Kurt Russell in Tango and Cash. Now this movie went for ridiculous money online before, and I'm so glad I finally found it for a decent price. Now this is... A movie which I mean it's not really wait a minute I'm just gonna check the okay I thought something was wrong with the camera never mind the movie is basically about Tango and Cash Kurt Russell and Sylvester Stallone being accused of a crime which they did not commit and they're sent to prison and uh, that is just what the other bad guys are, like really wants them to be so they can so they can go on with their evil plan to take over the world or something. I'm not really sure what it was, but something with drugs, I guess. Because Tango and Cash is basically the only persons who could frame them. So they just want them in prison and of course they escape, a really great escape uh, escape scene and or sequence or whatsoever. No, I don't want to spoil anything else, but if you are a big fan of either Kurt Russell, Sylvester Stallone or action movies in general, this is a great movie, uh, yeah, Tango and Cash. Now I'm not really sure what they gave every all of these movies. I think I gave Showdown a little Tokyo a 7 out of 10 stars and Tango and Cash a 8 out of 10 stars. In the next movie I gave a, I gave a 9 out of 10 stars. Uh, this movie blew me away. I heard a lot of mixed reviews before going into this, so I didn't really have like super high expectations for it, but it is Eli Roth's The Green Inferno. I was waiting for such a long time for this to be released because this was never showed at our local cinema, which sort of pissed me off because the only horror movies that they show at cinemas these days in Sweden is basically ghost movies, which I'm so tired of, so uh, yeah. And I think this is actually an homage to Rogero Diodato's Cannibal Holocaust because it's, it certainly says in the end credits for Rogero Diodato but in in Italian. Uh, now we will follow a group of, I think there was some sort of uh, organization which didn't really want the cannibals to be to be like terminated because they were like they were like getting rid of a lot of forests and stuff where the cannibals lived and the cannibals wouldn't survive out there or something. I, it was something like that. And of course they crash with their plane and they are captured by the cannibals and all sort of crazy stuff happens. I'm not going to say more, more than that but yeah, check it out for yourselves. It's a great cannibal movie and I think, I don't really understand why so many, very many people I didn't think, care for it. I know, of course, there were people that did like it as well, but yeah. The Green Inferno, uh, 9, of ten, 9 out of 10 stars, I guess I gave it, but yeah. At number uh, 3. And at number 2 is a movie which I already did a review of uh, 
this was the previous review video, so I'm just going to show it right away. The House by the Cemetery. I think this now is my favorite Lucio Fulci movie. I like this one even more than Zombie 2. Uh, I, I, I don't, I'm not gonna say anything more because I basically made, made a review of it and you yeah you can just check that one out if you want more information about this movie so yeah The House by the Cemetery at number two and at number one is a movie which I don't even own on any like copy of VHS or DVD or Blu-ray or whatever format and it is a movie called Kid released back in 1990 and it was also known as Back for Revenge, which has C. Thomas Howell in it. And it is a re revenge flick. And I think the acting in, that, in this movie is so great. And I think it's a shame it was never released on DVD or Blu-ray. Because it was released on... I can be so wrong, but I think there is a DVD release of it. But I think it's an Australian release and I think that's super rare right now. If you don't really want to pay for a bootleg, but yeah, what the hell? The uh, yeah, I couldn't even find it on VHS, which was weird because yeah, I, I mean, it was super rare, and uh, I actually watched it on YouTube because I was this was a movie which I've been wanting to see for such a long time. So uh, yeah, I think it's a shame it doesn't have a DVD release. I, I think it preserves it because I think it's a great movie. And uh, this movie also gave 9 out of 10 stars, if I'm not mistaken. Like maybe gave it a 10 out of 10 stars. I'm not, I, I'm not sure, but anyways, the movie Kid, also known as Back for Revenge, uh, gets in at the number one spot for uh, this month that has passed. Um, now I'm not going to talk anymore, and now I'm going to end the video. And I do promise you that I will show you the movies and all the stuff that I picked up from the sci-fi convention in the next video. So keep your eyes open for that video and hope you didn't get bored and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.